we're to play a guardian that is not that good but one of the funnest okay one of the most fun and soothing guardians in the game it is you cannot be that mad while playing this god all right doesn't matter the situation it's all okay because you're bob ross you have a beautiful painting and you have a star on Bob Ross because you're awesome. And then your opponent's just a Neath without a border or a player icon or anything, you know? Okay, to start off on Bob Ross, want to go Hunter's Blessing, uh, Tier 1 Bancrofts. Now, your Relic can go Blink or Bracer. I'm probably going to go... I'm actually going to go Beats. I don't want to get alt comboed. I want to be able to sidestep the uh, root. Neath's combo is kind of nasty if you can't do that. You gotta go Aegis, or Blink, or Beads. Blink, not as much. Okay, as of honest, first, come over the blue buff. Immediately put a flower here. Why do you put a flower here, you ask? Because you can uh, you can use it through the wall. You get increased MP5. And this is why we go five health potions as well. This is the best start as I've found on him. Because then you have increased mana, increased sustain, just by staying in this flower that they can't even kill. You know, look, I just did all of her health and I'm full health, full mana. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Okay, she is dead if she does not back. All I have to do is hit my one. Oh, you have Bracer, eh? She'll still be dead. Please, hey, hey, stop that. Stop juking. There you go. <laughs> and first blood goes to Savas. Here's the thing about Savas, though. If you get first blood, I am dying to if you get first blood, you want to back it immediately. You cannot take red buff before your opponent comes there. Nope, no way. I do like to go tier 2 boots, or go uh, boots before finishing Bancrofts, but it depends. It depends on who I'm against and how I feel that day. Another thing is you can put a flower about there. That's a good spot for it. Because they can't really kill it without being risked of, without risking being pulled into tower. But pretty much you just want to stay in the flowers whenever you can. Like if you're killing minions, if you're juking autos, just stay in them. All right, that's her her combo. Yeah, we're on diamond three right now, but I'm almost promoted to diamond two, so I'm excited for that. Or pull her, alt. Use our two, back up for when she backflips. She has nowhere to go, she's trapped. Good stuff. Now we can go for this because we'll have enough mana for our one and we're, her respawn timer is a tiny bit longer. Um, nice trick as so long as I've shown this before is that you can't auto attack over walls directly with him, but if you shoot in a, well, I'll show this after I back because I, I can't show it right now, otherwise she'll kill me. You, you can fire autos over the wall if you do it in a specific way. Let me show you. So basically, you shoot at an area where you can auto attack, and then you flick your camera. So let me show it. It'll be better at blue buff to show it. I've stolen buffs with it. I've gotten so many kills with it. It's really good for boxing around red buff. I've gotten... You get so much free poke, you know? Like here, I'm, I'm going to go... I'm going to auto attack her real quick. If I can. No, I can't. You basically just do that. You flick your auto. No, there, there will be a better time to show it. Right now, there's not really a good time to show it. But you shoot at somewhere where you can shoot and flick your auto. Oh, she just... But guess what? Samas just got buffed. I can do that. And my flower's back. Oh, she's... You're gonna take that? No. Get over here. She just killed my flower. That is punishable by death in some states. Cutting down flowers. Oh, you're done. You're done. Oh, the amount of damage Savas has from his ultimate is insane. It's too much for Neath. Now, I'm queuing kind of late, so I'm starting to wonder if matchmaking's having some issues right now, but I don't care. I'm Savas, all right? I'm Savas. It's a fair fight. I, uh, I had a really good Savannah's game on stream today. I can't remember the matchup, but who was it? I found on her. I lost to the on her, but the game before that, Savannah's game before that, it was really good. Now, this is probably one of the worst Guardians, but he has so much outplay potential because of the stuff you can do with him. Savannah's has a nice early game. 
Nice mid game and pretty good late game, surprisingly, if he gets his the proper auto attack build. We can pull her. Go for it. Missed. Uh oh. Back up. Okay, cool. Run straight at her. She doesn't have boots. Come on. Ah. A tiny bit of damage with my wisps. Dang it. If I had that auto, she would have died. Can I run at her with an auto attack? Oh, nope. I'm gonna die. No. Whatever. I wanted the kill. I wanted to hit her with the paint. Oh, also, uh, pen boots are better, but I guess I got the wrong ones. That's fine, though. Either work. It's just pen boots, you know, if you're going auto attack build, pen boots are better. But if you're relying on your ultimate, which Sylvanas kind of does, cooldown boots are fine. I'd say Sylvanas, they are equally as good. Equally as good. Okay, that was bad all around. And I half health, let's just back up and heal. With Bancrofts, we're gonna have so much damage once we alter. I wonder if she's, yeah, there's the, I might let her hit me and then beads it and pull her into tower. I would love to do that actually. Let her ult me and then beads it, pull her into tower. That'd be amazing. No taking that buff on my watch. All right. Hello? <laughs> it's kind of funny. Oh, am I dead? No. Heal! Heal! Quickly! Quickly! No! Run away! Heal! Ah, okay, we're fine. <laughs> that little bit of distance saved us. Now, this is a fun match. This is a match where neither of us are tryharding. We're just chilling. This is the duel I'm about. Hey, give me that. What? I didn't get that? Okay. It's fine. Can I ult pull her into tower here? <gasps> oh. Alright, she's getting some damage online. I'm underestimating her. But with Bancrofts, we heal. He missed. It's fine for me. She's dead. Nice. Now, usually when I pull someone right away, um, I try to root them before ulting because it gives them more damage. But with her backflip, nah. I had to do it all right away. Also, I had to throw my one out before she even landed. And that is because if she backflips, she would have been fine. Nice stuff. I'm just going to go try to get more buffs right now. The nice old Sylvanas snowball. You know, we're painting a snowy, snowy little scene. A snowy snowball scene. A sentry ward? Where are you going to put that? I, I haven't even bought a ward. I'm going to now. Nobody outwards me, alright? Let it be known. No one outwards me in duel. Got them jukes. Can I pull you into tower? No. I think I'm dead now, actually. If she hits her one. Or an auto, I guess. How many autos was that? That was eight autos? You killed me with eight autos? I guess I was kind of low. I'm okay with this. Like I said, we're not we're not tryharding. We're just having a happy game of Sylvanas. We are enjoying everything. Alright. We're going to wait for Breastplate, though. We got to beat the devil out of her. All right, so where, first we need to figure out where, oh, okay, never mind. All bets are off the table, I'm tryharding. You just got bull demon, after, immediately have to take my tower? Okay, all right, no more Mr. Nice Sylvanas. We're fighting for our, our lives now, fighting for our dear lives. Is red buff up? It is not. How did you get that? That root is so long. You got Aussie? My Toxic Blade is gonna hurt you, isn't it? 
I, uh, usually if their escape's up and I root them, I don't go for their pool because they always use their escape, but I don't know, she's been using her escape at weird times, so thought maybe I could go for it. Dang. This my pool really punishes me. She's healing so much, I desperately need anti-heal. Desperately need that tile. Ooh, we could go for a blink plate. Nah, she's not low. She's not low enough. Did I really miss that? Oh, her Aussie Embracer? Oh my god, I could have rooted her in Phoenix there. Would have been fine. Auto attack her. Alright, I don't know if it's just me. But these fights aren't very exciting. <laughs> like, I don't know, she just kind of was doing her healing thing and I was just holding left click and her health bar was like going down so slowly and she eventually died and that was it. <laughs> There's just something so funny about that. I did 1100 my auto attacks. 11 autos. And now we have enhanced autos with red buff. Ooh la la. I'm telling you, my Toxic Blade is going to shut her down. Her entire build. Her Bracer, her Aussie, and her heal. Talk about putting all your eggs in one basket. Hey, none of that. Hey, none of that. You just stole one buff. One minion. How could you do that? And juke you. Juke. Juke. <laughs> she gave up. Okay. No! The buff's for trees, not for neaths. Alright. Listen here. Can I get your... Can you please use your escape? Okay, I'm gonna teleport and kill you. Wow, you really don't like defense, do you? No defense at all. Yeah, I think queuing late might have something on the matchmaking right now, but you know what? This is fun. This is fun. Okay, we're gonna go back. Get Toxic Blade, shut her build down. Now, I would go Demonic, but she doesn't even have defense. What is 36% of 43, 43 protections, you know? It's not gonna give me any pen. But Spirit Mages will make me do true damage, so kind of want that. Plus, if he, she gets one defense item, technically Spirit is still better. Now, if they get double defense, Spear and Demonic is so good. It shreds everything because Demonic applies and then Spear applies. Use your backflip. You know you want to. You know you want a backflip. If we both hold left click, who will win this fight? I'm guessing not me because you'll use abilities. Okay, my two gifts protections, we're fine. Faded! Nice. That didn't go quite a plan, but it worked. I mean, the whole strat was to beat it and then, you know, do my combo on her, so I guess the plan did work. Twelve minute tower. I think my win rate on Savannah is like 40%, which doesn't sound high, but considering how quote unquote bad he is in duel, and I'm at I'm in Diamond 3, that's a pretty pretty good you know win rate. I'll have to check out this game. Lately I've been winning a ton with him, so my win rate's slowly going above 50%. Like if I were to only count the last 20 games, I probably have like a 55% win rate maybe. The only thing is that when I lose, I usually have six fast. Because I, I can tell when I can't outplay someone or if I'm just too far behind. I usually get first blood whether I have a good or bad matchup. But after that, it all depends. Did you really go for Boldyman again? You sly little neat. You sly little neat. I know where your sentry is. It's right at Boldyman, isn't it? Oh my god. 
How could you do that to me? No, you don't. No, you don't. Okay. Pretty sure I can still kill her. Pretty sure I can still kill her. Alright. Just blink on her and she's dead. Do not clear the wave. No! Don't clear the wave! Okay, good. Well, she kind of cleared the wave, but... The archers having 1 HP is no different than them being full health because the phoenix one-shots it anyways. So it doesn't matter too much. You really need your defense, my friend. My fellow, fellow god. We can take this. I love Toxic Plate. Gives such good stats. No power, but pan. Tons of attack speed. Can I win this? I shouldn't win this fight, but I think I will. Oh, that looks like game. <laughs> I should not have been able to win that fight, but I did. Why are you not getting defense? I guess she wanted Toxic Blade. She should have gotten uh, Pestilence. Uh, that was weird. I placed by Flower. I don't think it hit Titan. Uh, and it did not appear on the ground, so strange. But there we go. Somalis full gameplay. One of my favorite guardians. One of the funnest to play, but he takes up getting used to. If you go the start, the start is place the flower, five health potions, Hunter's Blessing, Tier 1 Bancrofts, you know, five health potions, that's really important. And you make sure to stand in the flower as much as you can while, you know, using your auto text clear and maxing your one. You can do good against most gods early. Oh, that was the game that got me into Diamond 2. Yeah, nice. We're actually almost in Masters. I'm, I've only been in Masters once. Whoops. But yep, that's the strategy. Thank you all for watching. Here's the stats. Looks like we did about the same player damage, but I'm guessing I mitigated a lot. Yeah, because she didn't even get defense. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time.